type of uh, suture is going to be part of your armamentarium. Now sometimes you can change it to a horizontal position. So these are all in the same line and hence the term vertical. Now we're going to do a horizontal mattress. Here the idea is not to go near near or far far. Take the same size bite each time. But what you're going to do is it's effectively two simple sutures in one suture. So what you'll do is you'll enter the skin now as if you would for a simple suture. And instead of tying this as a simple suture, turn your needle around move the same distance you would for your simple suture and enter it the same way, almost like you're doing a simple suture on the other side. So this is still a mattress suture because there's two different rows of suturing, but now instead of in a vertical line, it's in a horizontal line. And it's important that you pull together again only till the edges kiss each other. So it has the advantage of being faster uh, than uh, two simple sutures. Uh, and you know, sometimes in some situations you want to pull tissue to tissue together, just like with a vertical. Vertical is nicer because it does evert the skin edges, but in a case like this where eversion is not a problem, simply doing a horizontal mattress will help you. And sometimes in cosmetic surgery, we don't want any suture marks on one side. And when you come to the second side here, what you would do is take the first half of your simple and then just take simply a dermal bite on the opposite side and then come back and come through the skin again. And when you tie it down, it'll simply pull the dermis toward it. And we often do that in cosmetic surgery in areas of hair bearing. So this is good again for tension. Uh, it's good when the skin doesn't need inversion.